When you open the Screencastify pop-up, you'll notice there are two different ways of capturing your screen, browser tab recordings and desktop recordings. These work similarly in some ways, but also quite different, so we'll run through that now. Um, I'm going to start a desktop recording with my webcam embedded, and when I click record, you'll see I get my webcam preview here, and that's basically going to show up in this video that I'm recording. Now, a desktop video captures everything that you see on your screen. So everything that's here on my screen is going to show up in the uh, in the final video. Now, that's great because it means that if I go to Keynote or PowerPoint, if I present the slide deck, everything is going to show up, and that's great. The downside is that maybe some stuff that we don't want my audience to see, like this toolbar up here with what time I recorded the video, is also going to be in that video. So that's kind of how a desktop recording works. You'll see that the webcam preview follows you everywhere, um, except when I go full screen, right? Once I go full screen with an application, I can't see the webcam preview anymore, which means that the viewers of this video are also not gonna see the webcam preview. All right, that's how a desktop recording works. So a tab recording works a little bit differently. So let's do this. Let's start a browser tab recording. Let's embed the webcam and we're gonna click record. Now, um, what we're gonna see is I have a webcam preview here. I can be a lot more flexible with this webcam preview in a tab recording than I can in a desktop recording. There's just more tools. So I can full screen it within this tab. I can mirror it so that um, if I'm recording like a whiteboard or flashcards, that's gonna work. Um, the other thing to know about a tab recording, right, it, it's just going to capture this, okay? It's not going to capture any of my Chrome tools. It's not going to capture the toolbar at the top of my screen. And it also isn't going to capture anything if I go to a different tab. It's going to keep recording the, um, the content of the tab that we started on, the Google Slides. You can see this little icon here means that it's recording that tab. And I can do anything over here, and um, that's not going to show up in the video, okay? so. Tab recordings are great for just capturing the content of one tab and having a more flexible webcam preview, um, but not so great if you want to be showing multiple different um, applications or things like that. Thanks for watching.